major problem for couples in long-term relationships is the lack of intimacy and connection. For example, 21% of divorcees blame their divorce on the loss of connection. 20,000 people a month search Google for the terms sexless marriage and intimacy issues. We offer the solution, Cardexi. Cardexi is a romance and fun card game for couples to reignite the intimacy in their relationship. Our mission is to encourage a sense of childless play and connection in couples in a respectful and balanced way. The Cardexi kit contains 20 cards with four themes involving activities such as role play, uh, challenges, riddles, other sorts of creative fun games to play. Uh, the kit also includes a how-to booklet and an intimacy tips booklet. The how-to booklet provides overviews for stories, um, design and decor um, suggestions to set the scene, as well as dialogue and actions to take. Our target market. We're targeted in the face-to-face -face game market which is booming in the United States. Last In 2016, board games were the single most funded item on Kickstarter. We're also targeting the e-commerce and personalized market. Personalized products have a higher perceived value. Our demographic is couples aged 35 to 60 who have lost, lost the spark in their relationship. Uh, people that we spoke to agree that monotony and routine definitely creep into their relationships over time. And if you have a busy career and children, that also makes it hard to maintain that loving feeling. Um, just one example of some feedback that we got said this is a great idea. Anything that breaks the pattern, seeing your partner in costume, you see them in a different light. And we did some research showing that uh, 2,400 people search each month for romantic games with a cost per click of 26 cents, resulting in low competition. Our competitors. Uh, there are dozens of romance-based card games, but they're mainly activity props. Uh, for example, just offering the truth of there. Our main competitor is the bedroom game, a six category card game, and one of them being a role in role playing and fantasy game. Virtually all of our competitors are more focused on the sexually explicit aspect of the relationship. Cardexi is different and it aims to evoke more mystery, romance, and fun for the couple. Which brings us to some of our unique selling points, such as the option to personalize the card characters with your own headshots, photos, um, we want you to focus on the romance part of it, creativity, um, just having fun and adventure and hamming it up. We plan to roll out by selling the Cardexi product on our own website where they can personalize it, like Karen said, put their, put their faces uh, in, in the images. And the non-personalized versions will be sold in stores and via, and via Amazon. And we plan to advertise through search engines, Google type ads, social media promotions, and trade show. We also have an expanded product line, which includes uh, specialty themes, for example, as well as the basic card deck. We might have a special theme like a space theme or a Victorian theme. We also plan a, uh, an, an app for a mobile app. So let's talk money. Uh, we calculated the cost of manufacturing to be about $10 per kit. Um, we want to start the retail at $30 per kit. Um, and we also anticipate some add-on sales from costumes and props. Um, we calculated the cost of acquisition per customer to be $5, which results in a $15 profit per kit. Uh, we project that our first year sales be 10,000 units, um, doubling into the second year and with a third year projection of 1 million. Our team is Stephanie Chambers, founder, writer and seller of Mystery Party Games, myself, website designer and art card reader, Eli Honekin, retail experience, artist and graphic design, Andrew Kirshner, activist and author, and Gary Tobin, non-GMO certification consultant. Thank you. And we may need some of our other team members yeah, to come up. We may have brilliant answers for our judges' questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
saying that the product could be personalized to an individual or to a couple. Yes, yes, so that the face covers the cards is a picture of a couple, maybe in like a nice outfit, and then they submit their photos, and uh, yeah. so it's individualized for that, for that couple. So that, that price point might, might be like, with one customer said so they would pay $65 for a product like that. The, the $10 price was actually based on the version so we may get the actual manufacturer price down quite a lot for the ones that aren't customized yeah I think it's a really good concept I think that uh, you know, definitely it's all about creating a brand that people really gravitate to uh, my question would be around the cost for a customer um, typically I have I've done some products on the net and you know, uh, 26 cents per click would be very very low in general have some concerns with that. And 5% response rate would be very, very high in general. You know, response rates are often 1%, one tenth of 1%. So uh, you have to really do some modeling around that, that then, because that's going to ultimately determine how much you need to charge for the product to the work. But uh, you know, that all can change a lot if you get traction and brand recognition. And of course, the market just kind of it comes to you. But just getting out there and knocking on doors, in essence, Paper clip, it's pretty expensive. Okay, one, one thing, obviously this would be like a second phase, but we do envisage that there would be a strong community element of this, where people that enjoy the product share their experiences and stories online and through social media, to create a viral effect. Yeah, and the viral thing, that completely change the whole model of thing. We have to get to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that, and that might be part of your model, you need X number of dollars to get to you know, viral you know, mass you know, adoption. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.